Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Airline Empires here with me, McGeek. So you can see we are now 38th. It is August 11th, 1999. We are making $35 million a day. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we have $30.7 billion in cash. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. We are in the top 40. We're actually in the top 38. We are last in that in that setting, but yeah. A uh, few of my uh, viewers asked me why I only buy new planes, and that's because I like the new plane smell, and as well, you can see that in um, average fleet age is a factor in our overall airline reputation, so kind of want to keep that at its best. Human resources, they're all dancing, so I honestly don't know. Oh, performance. Oh, yeah. Okay, no. Not going to waste any more money on in-flight services. It's good enough. Real quick, I want to see what kind of aircraft we have. All of the aircraft have been set. But real quick, we are at 1999. 1999, 98. Here we are. So we got a few aircraft coming out. 717 just came out. 737-900. That one wouldn't be bad. Um, I really want big planes. Like really, really, really huge planes. I really do. The A380-800. 2007. Dang it, we're close, but not close enough. Let's go ahead and order. Do we want to order? Because right now, our money is just going up as we speak. So, I don't really think we need to order any planes uh airbus yeah no no pre-orders boeing the 737-900 already is being pre-ordered wow no winglets Ooh. hmm the 737-800 is way better in every single aspect it's cheaper it goes further has a quicker turnaround time and has winglets why would you ever get the 900 i don't understand yeah, see, there's only 30 orders. Why would you... Why would you get this? <sighs> I don't know. 30 people want to get a terrible plane. Okay. Next, we have the 400 ER. It can travel 400 miles further than the 747-400, but it has a 10-minute turnaround time added on to it. Why? There's, n there's no more seats. I, I don't understand. 767-400ER. Wow, that's a... I'm sure that's a nice plane. <laughs> 406, 80 minutes, 2001. That's kind of a new plane. Uh, ooh, wow. All of these... McDonnell Douglas is going out of business soon. Actually, they're being cut out. But that's beside the point. No, I think we're okay. Real quick, let's take a look at our route map. We're making pretty good money. I want to wait till 2007, and we'll just... Uh, I think for the finale, we'll buy a ton of A380-800s and just send them off somewhere. So this is what our route map looks like. Uh, getting close to the end of the season. There's not really more we can do. I think I'm just going to let this earn money like it is. And then if it needs help, I'll boost it every now and again. And I think the next episode will be the season finale. I don't think it... It won't be for two or three weeks or so, but... Maybe just two weeks, but... Yeah, so it's looking good. Let's see what we got going on here. We got... Oh, no, that's... Okay, there's our route. Nope. Darn it, we can't see our whole route map on one thing like this. Oh, dang it. There's our route map. <laughs> We're kind of separated, but you know how it is. So, anyways, that was just a quick little update on the Airline Empires. So, anyways, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and tune in next time. Thank <laughs> you.